Uh, there's a lot of talk about medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. uh, now that the governor has passed his or issued his executive order on uh, legalizing possession of cannabis purchased in other states legally, right. um, you know that kind of puts the ball in the legislature's court possibly to figure out something to come up with a policy that's a little bit more permanent, a little more structured. Um, there's always been interest among Republicans and the legislature to do that, but it's um, it, it's always languishes in the Senate. That's kind right. of the story of the last few years, and we'll see um, if there's any renewed pressure. In this well, country. and Speaker Osborne has said it's going to have to start in the Senate this time, right? That they've put skin in the game twice on this. The House has voted on it twice before, and it's always stalled in the Senate. And he has said. It should start there, but I don't get the sense from the Senate president or the majority leader that right. that's really going to happen. Right. We haven't seen a lot of differences. I mean, I feel like the last year, the big difference was um, uh, Senate Judiciary Chair Whitney Westerfield coming mm -hmm. out and being like, I think I'm ready for this. Yeah. And that was a big difference uh, from before. Haven't had that moment so far. I mean, it's the beginning of the session. I think the other thing to look about, look at with this is, does this change what the b bill is that Republicans have been proposing in the past? Mm -hmm. um, it was a very restrictive version of a, uh, of a medical cannabis bill, possibly one of the most restrictive in the country. It would only allow people with very few um, ailments uh, to, to be able to access it. It would also not allow the smoking of cannabis. Right. And this is the previous version. Of That's the right. No home grow and kind of deal. We don't really know what they're we don't really know what they're trying to do this time around. 